Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to What's the Story with me, the library lady. I am so glad that you are here today. And as a former classroom teacher and elementary school librarian, I created this uh, to help share um, the joy of reading with you. I love to um, share about great children's books and my passion for reading. Um, and I also love to help cultivate and develop um, the joy of reading with young readers and learners. And so um, if you like what you see, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these great videos. And make sure you stay tuned after the book Book preview and I'll share some tips, um, activities, crafts, ideas on how you can engage your child or learner with the text that was shared so you don't want to miss out. So um, let's get started. Today's book on what's the story is Take Away the A. Now it's by a French author um, and I'm going to apologize in advance because I know that my pronunciation will probably not be totally accurate but Michael Escoffier and Chris D. G. Como. And so it's a great book put out in 2014 by Enchanted Lion Books. And um, it's very clever. It's an, actually an alphabet book. So uh, at first you might think, well, my child might be too young, but this actually can be adapted no matter the age of your reader, um, I would definitely suggest for the elementary age. But um, the concept is that each letter or each, you know, each letter of the alphabet has a word, but then they take away a letter. And by just removing one letter, you can change and create a new word. So it's a great book to develop vocabulary, uh, to strengthen phonemic awareness. Um, and those skills um, are definitely needed for those early learners and readers. Um, learning about blending sounds, segmenting sounds, um, having just a great sense of phonological awareness is a very very important skill for young readers and so and learners. So you're definitely going to want to check this out, especially if you have a child working on those skills. So let's go ahead and take a little book look and let's see what we have. So take away the A. And here we go. It says without the A, the beast is best. Uh, without the B, the bride goes for a ride. Without the C, the chair has hair. Without the D, dice are ice. And I'll stop there so you can kind of see that's how the book goes throughout the entire alphabet, um, going through each page. And um, I like to point out, if you haven't quite uh, thought about this one, that anger is only one letter short of danger. So you got to think about how you can change and manipulate words. So um, there's a lot of fun wordplay things that you can do. Uh, the illustrations are great. As you saw the dice, you got the animals playing a little card game, drinking a drink with some ice in there. And so one activity um, is just to actually start off with the letter sounds. And so you could point to the letter with your child to say, you know, what letter is this? Um, if that's kind of where your child's at developmentally, um, maybe taking a step further, what sound does it make? D. D says duh. Um, if you haven't heard that great song that flips around on the internet and other things, the D says duh. The D says duh. Every letter makes a sound. The D says duh. And now uh, you can go through the letter. Um, you can also then explore. See, when I cover the D, it changes and it's the same as ice. And you can practice those. So just going through as you read the story uh, is a great opportunity to explore some of those sounds. Um, I love word games and word play. And so um, lots of games out, out there on the market. Um, many of you obviously probably know Scrabble, but also Boggle is great. There's a really good one named Good Bananagrams. If you don't know that one, look it up. They even make a Boggle junior um, for young kids and so um, you can see they have little um, dice and then you practice spelling the word and there's kind of different levels and differentiation that you can do with that game but it's um, a great game and actually recommend it for ages three and up so um, great one to start off with your little ones um, as you saw I've got some magnetic letters here so you can always play with those at home to manipulate them um, if you don't have magnetic letters maybe letter tiles if you don't have that you can just write letters on paper and cut them out and make them into little tiles so um, you don't even have to have a pre-made uh, letter um you know, object to use at your home. A uh, little tip is uh, you can always use a cookie sheet as long as it's magnetic and your letters will stick on there and it's a great way to keep them contained and for your child to take it or sit with it or travel around. So that's a little tip and hack there um, to use that. So lots of different ways to incorporate sounds. You can also play I Spy. Uh, many of you know that game, um, but instead of saying I spy something green or I spy something round, do it with sounds. So I spy something that starts with the letter P. 
Again, if you need to step it up a level, maybe I spy something that has a p sound at the beginning. Again, you can differentiate and say I spy something that has a d sound at the end. Beginning and ending sounds are going to be a little bit easier for your child to pick out. Middle ones are going to be harder. So maybe um, if you're looking at a book, you could um, I spy something that starts with a b, and then you know they could kind of guess. And then maybe I spy something that has a u uh sound in the middle and see if they can. So you can kind of change out the levels a little bit. You can also try segmenting the word meaning that you break each individual phoneme, that's the sound that the letter makes, like hat, h, at, and you could actually talk in that way and say, uh, put out maybe a list of, um, or a group of objects on a table or something like that, or in a bag, and um, say, I'm looking for my h, at, and see if they can actually then blend that word together and say, oh, she's looking for a hat, and see if they can find it. Um, putting it on a table or in a bag for them to pull out and find um, makes it a little bit easier and um, more contained. Um, doing a whole large room might be hard for them to figure out where that object is. So that's why I'm suggesting to put it out in front of you. So lots of fun ways. I hope that you have some great um, word play and activities at home. You can always explore other alphabet books just to explore the letters, but this is a very clever and fun book for your child and the illustrations are great. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, don't forget to tune in next time on What's the Story. See you later and happy reading.